amazing photos of the famous robbers of Old West. Did you know that Black Jack Ketchum, along with his gang, had hit the jackpot during the robberies, looting around $150,000, which at present would be $5 million. However, later on, Ketchum would carelessly commit a mistake that would be his regret. And we'll talk more about that later, as well as the stories about the most notable robbers just like him. And at the end of this video, you'll discover the most unlucky fellow probably the worst Old West robber in the world. So without further ado, let's begin. William Brazelton, a six foot tall man who terrorized the stagecoach route of Tucson to Florence, all while wearing a white muslin cloth over his head. Brazelton, aka Brazen Bill, didn't just become infamous for his robbery exploits, but also for his phantom-like getaway when doing his favorite hobby. This haunting photo was taken when the poor outlaw was killed during an ambush. Even now, some locals believe that Brazelton's ghost still lingers at the place where he got killed. Tom O'Day Though he was not as famous as his companions like Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, O'Day's name would always be there every time a story about the Wild Bunch was mentioned. But many Butch Cassidy experts believe that O'Day was only kept by his gang members as a big relief, making him a famous sidekick and somehow a famous robber as well. Sam Bass Talking about robbing the Union Pacific train, Bass perhaps had one of the most unexpected record-setting heists. During his first robbery, when they arrived at the cash safe, everyone thought that they had been kicked in the shins as they noticed that the lock was the type that wouldn't be open until it reached its destination. So out of frustration, one of his gang members kicked up a random wooden box, but when it opened, they found 60,000 worth of gold coins, which is almost $2 million at present. Black Jack Ketchum And with the word jackpot, Ketchum would be the first on our list. This photo of Ketchum would probably be his last proper photo before his last moments on the gallows. But still, Ketchum proved to be an extraordinary robber, as during their three consecutive robberies, they never got caught and earned a large sum of $150,000. That would be $5 million today. Eventually, Ketchum would find himself alone. But still, he couldn't stop his urge to rob a train, which became his biggest mistake. So, the train conductor, who was being robbed for the third time, finally shot Ketchum, leading to his arrest and eventually, Ketchum got decapitated when he was hanged. Then probably the unluckiest and worst in the world, Elmer McCurdy. During one of their train robberies, they used an explosive but melted the loot in the process. As if they never learned, they did the same thing again while opening a cash safe in their bank robbery. However, the worst part is when they thought they just hit it big as they tried robbing a train carrying $400,000. It's just that they got on the wrong train. Then worst of worst, McCurdy got shot and was identified. Soon he got shot again and three days later was killed. However, even after death, McCurdy's misfortune continued. His embalmed corpse was sold to several carnival shows. It wasn't until after 60 years that the most unlucky and worst robber was finally laid to rest. You've discovered the amazing photos of Old West famous robbers, so click this and discover the greatest train robberies of the Old West.